But it's not just Truckee where residents are dealing with a lot of problems with their power. The people of South Lake Tahoe have been experiencing some, some, some similar issues. That's right. In fact, yesterday, El Dorado County declared a state of emergency when a tier four storm created very mm. hazardous outdoor conditions in South Lake. And that's where Ryan Canada joins us now live with the latest on how the city is managing. Ryan, it sounds like they finally opened up a highway so we could get up there and see it for ourselves. Yeah, that's right, Kristen. Earlier today, Highway 50 finally opened up, allowing us to get here to South Lake Tahoe to check out just the aftermath of yesterday's storm. And let me tell you, the I'd say the wait was worth it because it is a winter wonderland out here. We are seeing so much snow. And let me give you a closer look at what we're seeing a lot of, too, is residential roadways like this, just where there is a ton of snow. I mean, walls of snow that are probably five to six feet tall. And the, all this heavy snow here has made the last 24 hours very difficult for not just road crews, but also first responders and residents as well. Many South Lake Tahoe residents are hard at work today, clearing off driveways after a tier four storm dumped several feet of snow throughout the city yesterday. Probably about 45 minutes to an hour every day, easily. Uh, when, the snow, when the snow plow goes by, it pushes a lot of stuff into our driveway, but I understand you gotta keep the roads clear. For Harding, he says he can manage getting around the city by walking, so driving isn't his biggest concern. He's more worried about how other drivers can handle the snow-covered roads. You have to watch out for the cars a little bit more. As they call them, the flatlanders, they tend to uh, slip and slide around. That problem of slipping and sliding has left others getting stuck in the snow, keeping them from even leaving their homes. I knew as soon as I came out on this uh, my street here, like, I should not be driving this. So then I just came around the block, and of course, I got stuck. So I definitely feel trapped and have been experiencing cabin fever, just kind of getting bored. But the South Lake Tahoe Fire Department says staying at home is the best thing for residents at this time, at least until the roads are better taken care of. The road crews do their work, and the more people out on the roads, you know, the harder it is for us to get to calls, harder it is for them to clear the roads, and the higher likelihood you're going to have somebody getting into a wreck. Chief Drennan says high speeds in the snow and not using the proper equipment has left the department responding to a lot of minor crashes. But he says that hasn't been the biggest problem throughout the city. We had 35 calls in a 24-hour period for two engines out of the city. That's a lot. Uh, most of the calls have been power lines down, uh, trees in the buildings, trees in the power lines. And South Lake Tahoe would like to reiterate that the, the road crews are hard at work, working 24-7 on over 220 miles up here, over here in South Lake Tahoe. So they really encourage residents to just stay patient. If you don't have to be on the roads, just stay at home until things do dry out a bit. Covering Stormwatch Live in South Lake Tahoe, Ryan Canada, Channel 2 News. Mm -hmm. All right, Ryan, thank you. And while many areas are dealing with the snow, others are still coping with last night's rain. There's a whole lot of it. Dozens of Dayton residents are trying to save their property because of all that massive right. flooding, the flash flooding we saw overnight. Paul Nelson joins us now live from the Carson